What's up everyone? Today I want to check out this abandoned Sherry's that's right behind me here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, it just recently closed and it's one that for me has a quite a bit of memory as a kid so I figure I might as well try and do a little bit of documenting of it. We are going to be limited because of this fence. We can't go, go up to the windows. It's just not going to happen. But we are going to at least be able to kind of show you guys what it looks like and you know document it, right? That's kind of the part of the point of this channel, right? Let's go ahead and take a look, shall we? All right, so there we go. There's a view of the Sherry's. So I watched a video from someone on YouTube called Chris. I'll put his full channel name on screen and probably link him in the comments or something. Uh, he did a video of a Sherry's up in Oregon that was fenced off like this. And you know what? His video kind of made me realize that I'm, I'm silly. I'm silly. Not recording this is very silly. It's harder to want to record things when they're fenced off or boarded up really good because it's harder to see the stuff that you want to see and document it. But, you know what, for one thing this does have relevance to me as being someone who was younger and two, I kind of did say to a couple or three different people that I would do a video of this, so that's what we're going to do. So right there is the entry door and there are two signs. I'll throw up photos of them I took a little while back uh, that indicate when this place closed up. Uh, they closed at 4 p.m. that day, roughly, right around there. And, uh, well, this is what it looks like now. They still have this sign here. And you can see in a little bit, they do have the pie rack right here, straight in there, and the, the benches, of course. So I guess you can see a little bit, but, you know, it's limited. So I can kind you can kind of see in, see my reflection more than what you see inside. So I do actually have... Well, one story that I specifically want to share, it's a very distant memory, so I only remember pieces of it, okay? So I don't know if something happened on the roadway over here that caused the door to be messed up, or if maybe they were, I don't know what they were doing. Either way, I specifically remember one visit when I was younger, we had to go in through this door right here, in and out that door, because the other door was closed. We could not go through the other door. Um, but that does bring up another topic, which is this roadway out here. And we'll get to that in a minute, but there's been lots of crashes here. So while it's a good spot for visibility, it's also a good spot for really bad car crashes. So yeah, we went in that door to go in and dine and came out. I rem remember specifically walking down the sidewalk. I don't remember why. I feel like it was a car crash, but I don't know. Maybe they were remodeling the entryway. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I did, but I don't. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no current plans to demolish it. There's certainly no permits that I can find indicating such work happening. I apologize if my camera is a little shaky. It's cold, so, it's, so I'm shivering a little bit. Uh, we can't... Well, actually, they took the sign down. There used to be a no trespassing sign on this garbage area. Either way, there's nothing to see. Not really. Barely anything. Um, yeah, let's just continue, I guess. So, of course, with this fence, it stinks from a documenting perspective, just to be able to kind of see what places looked like. But I don't necessarily blame them because you do want to keep bad people out. There are a lot of bad actors that will go up in graffiti places and break windows and stuff. I don't support that. Don't do that. They do got a sign right here. Uh, that one can be seen from the road up here. Um, I don't think we'll be able to see much, but still let you guys have the view. Yeah, it's harder to see from this angle. That's kind of a cool angle, though, of the signage and stuff. Uh, look at all these. We'll go this way. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, we'll go this way. <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> all right, over here we have a highway, right? So this is a major, very significant, historically important highway. Um, I don't have anything wrong with a highway on like highways are good for getting between like a, one city to another and stuff like that. Uh, these days, most people use I-80 because I-80 is much more of a reasonable way to go. But because this road is so wide, I, I, I'm not an expert by the way. All right. Take this with a grain of salt, but because this road is so wide and because the speed limit is so high, and because you have it designed just all around like a highway, 
people go really, really, really fast here. Uh, I think, I don't know if the camera is doing due justice to emphasize just how fast people are going around this corner. The speed limit, I believe, is 45, but people are doing 50, 60, easy, not that hard. And over here at this intersection, there have been so many crashes. So like right here on this parking lot entry, as well as at Ridge and, and Lincoln Way there, there's been lots of car crashes. You can actually see a cross right there where one motorcyclist had died because of a car crash. So you will notice that there are some flags in this grass in front of the Sherry's on the main road, uh, highway I should say. I don't think they're related to Sherry's. I'm pretty sure these are related to cables for the cable company. Uh, so that, that's all good and dandy. Uh, this roadway is not very safe. I, it's actually a bad idea for me to be standing where I'm at. And if we come over here, you can actually see the remains of the self-standing sign that used to be here. Uh, they were set to replace it, but they never did. There were permits for it, but they never replaced it. Um, a car smashed into the sign one night, uh, back when the big lots over here opened. Back when this big lots over here opened in 2019, just the night before, a car had driven off the road over here and it smashed into this sign, absolutely obliterating it. Uh, it ended up hitting another car that was parked here in the lot. And the, one of the wheels, I, I don't know what car it came off of, but one of the wheels that went into that window. Uh, I remember a few days after I saw them actually putting a board over that window. Uh, yeah, so it, it, the point that I want to get to here is that while this restaurant is in a good location for visibility from cars, it's in a horrible location because of all the car accidents. It really is. It's not a particularly great spot to be. It stinks a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. In my humble opinion, realistically what needs to happen is this highway needs to be designed better for city use rather than intercity use. But uh, either way, it doesn't matter. The point is that people crash here a lot and it's not very safe. It stinks that it has to be that way. But it's kind of a harsh note to leave this off of on, but uh, I don't know how to wrap that up nicer. It's something that's ugly that unfortunately happens here a lot, and I, I, I don't think anybody likes it. I'm sure Sherry's didn't like it. I'm sure they get tired of, got tired of having that happen all the time. Even in spite of the car crashes, though, this place was a spot I went to quite a lot as a kid. I remember getting the mini corn dogs and french fries. That was my normal thing to get every single time. I think I occasionally might have got a piece of pie or something like that, but uh, yeah. There's not too much else I can say. I saw that there was one worker who literally was working to the end. Uh, they said that they had been working there for like 20 years. So they literally remember the days of having ashtrays in this restaurant. I do want to give a quick shout out here, I guess, to my channel members and patrons that make this journey a little bit easier. Uh, but until next time, peace out everyone.